to the tutorial. This area was designed to help new Helixers. Hello and welcome to Online Saturday. As you can see, it's a I'm new Bob game. Walter. I'm here to help you with the tutorial. You join me in the tutorial. Controls so you can join the Battle Royale. This is Battle Crush. The area marked on the field. This is the Switch version. Oh, great job. Let's try moving a little faster using your stamina. See, it's a shame they can't animate that into a GIF, but at least there's a picture so we can see what it actually is. Use dodge to move to the designated location. B. Okay. You can use dodge to move around quickly or evade your enemy's attacks. Now let's move on to some basic combat controls. I'm so glad there's a tutorial. I'm so glad it's early on. We're not confused by menus upon menus upon menus and home screens full of buttons. This is straight. This is how you play it. And a previous button nice and big and clear. See, this has got a GIF, a video showing what it means. Yeah, it's good to be able to choose. See, with the mouse, mouse with the right stick. And it's gonna pick it for me. Yeah. Ooh, great job. Use your heavy attack to attack me. Ooh, great job. Oh, nice effect. Could do it with like a bit of a rumble on that. Oh, Add a bit of weight to it. And become groggy. When your opponent becomes groggy, you can use a throwback attack to defeat them. What's that? Let me introduce you to your ultimate, the strongest throwback attack. Okay, so we get it over time, but we get more if we do damage or get hit ourselves. Ah, oh, Smash Bros. esque. Okay. That covers the basic controls. It's been great having you. At least the controls are nice and simple. Yeah, so Battle Crush is a new game out on Switch and Mobile. I don't remember if it's on PS5 or Xbox. What's going on? What's it asking me for now? Sign up? I think this is NetEase. I think I have to do this, so yeah, okay. I might have to blur out any personal information or skip. It's interesting, one of the things you have to tick is the agreement that your data can cross borders. Some countries demand that data of their people is kept in their country, and some of those governments aren't exactly known for being friendly, so you might have to think about that risk yourselves. Um, Actually, don't show again today. Well, this is a nice, simple screen. Begin a mission. Collect all A. Eh? Daily's weekly season, so there's still a month left of the season. I imagine on the right side there, Battle Pass link, if you've got this on mobile, you can link your accounts. And this screen is a little busy, isn't it? 
Let me see if I can give myself a name. Sure, let's do site name. I wonder if it'll allow me to do this. Change. Confirm. Now there's no tutorial for this screen, which is a little strange. A lot of these games to help you do stuff by doing these. I guess we do mission. No, it's not what I wanted to do, is it? So what? Oh, X is star. I guess. I shall hit B. What are the modes we've got? Y. Dual event. Team brawl. Practice. Tutorials. Quite a few are on there. Well, we've done that one already. So why isn't there like a tick next to it? Oh, it's Y. Okay. We'll do a few of these tutorials to help learn the basics of the game. The plus, we're going to get a look at some of the loading. It says A, Scenic Tip, but. I press it two, three, four. There we go. <laughs> it's welcome to the tutorial, Calixer. Let me tell you about interactions and using items out on the field. You can obtain consumable items or gear through interactions. Consumables are useful items you can use on the battlefield and will disappear after use. Okay. The closer to the consumable item, to select the interact button and claim consumables. Oh, A. Claim. Other collected consumables in your inventory at the bottom of your screen. Use the stealth scroll in your inventory. So, okay, you press L and then A. That's cool, you don't need to press anything. That chest was full of gear. Let's pick up the gear we just found. You'll pick up items automatically just by walking towards it. Gear makes you stronger. It's super important in battle. Okay, so there's a loot system. And the higher grade stuff automatically replaces it. And same two of the same will combine. That's nice. And still the option to discard it, okay. Huh? That shining golden aura? A sealed mythic gear is about to appear. Let's go to it now. I imagine this is gonna be Whoa. Oh, oh dear. You have to grab that gear, but the terrain collapsed. Okay, that was unexpected. The dodge turns into a mid-air jump. Huh, okay. Use your mid-air jump to reach the sealed mythic gear. We've got something shaking top right with plus. Oh, it's the same thing we just did, okay. You see that? I like that it shows us in 3D space where we are by pointing, or projecting that. Hey, okay, pressing A doesn't go any faster.
Okay, simple enough. It's like it's combining looting of games like Fortnite with Battle Royale uh, games, but with like you KO people and smash them out, kind of Smash Brothers style. It's taking some ideas from a few different games, but it's combining them in a way that still feels somewhat unique. Let's show you this taking us straight back here. So we've got to press Y and go here. But at least we're getting coins for it. What will be interesting is if the battle royale is literally one life and you're gone, or if you're going to have multiple lives in some sort of um, oh, old school shooter multiplayer game. Of course, I can't think of any of the names, can I, right now? <laughs> But I do appreciate it's taking us step by step, and this is a free to play game on Switch. And so it's having to try and get appeal to a wide audience. To the tutorial, it's a new stage. This is a battle royale practice arena. You can briefly simulate combat here with the tutorial bot. Yeah, it's flashing on the left there, isn't there? Now it's gone. Being a Switch game, of course, there are limitations. Finding a good starting point is key. Select your starting location on the map. Okay, are we going to fly in or just teleport in? Oh wow, there's a lot of people. Have shown up on the map. You can adjust your starting location. Are we going to get there in time? Interesting, okay. So you can make small adjustments. And the train steadily collapses. Let's pick that up. Consumables, consumables. You can see the map, top right, things are getting smaller. It's like we are stuck, we can get away. Well, no, I'm in danger area here. I'm trying to get to safety. There we go. It's like they survived. Nuts! So much damage to me. Terrain can explode any time, okay. So we've got to worry about that. I got someone else. But you can see the safe area is really tiny now. Safe areas have been reduced. So this is it. Run, run away. 
Ah, nuts. It, it got close. I don't really have any um, close-up attacks. So I say like a few of them have tried to get here. Whoa. I am far away. See, they're doing continuous damage to me. And it's stopping me from... From the countering. There we go. Finally. Oh, congratulations! You won the game. I'm sure you'll dominate all your enemies. I don't think so. I feel like they dominated me. I don't think I did well in that tutorial at all. Wow, I wonder if this is actually going to be somewhat tough. Or could it just be I need to find a character more suited to me. Like I said, it felt like the end there. The guy with the baseball was able to hit me quicker than I was able to dodge and get off my own attack. How many of these got left? A couple more. Dodge attack and aerial attack. I think that's aerial attack is how I got him in the very end. Jumped, basically just jump and attack. Let's see if there's any more information. Full switch game, it looks really nice. There are some um, texture loading, perhaps, some flickering in the background. And you can see by being top down, we are very limited by what we can see around us. So, by limiting how much is on screen, they can improve what is on screen. So, it could mean that if you go quickly, then things might not look as good, or the frame rates may decrease. I guess when we get 30 players on screen, if we do, we would have to see dodge attack, dodge attack. I gotta wait for my stamina to come back to do this. I'm hitting R, dodge R. Why is that? Not working. Dodge R. Dodge R. Dodge R. I am doing that. Dodge in the direction you want and attack. That's what I'm doing. Dodge left and attack. Wow, a perfect dodge attack. Why? Huh? Yeah, so you have to go off to jump to then do the attack. Use a jumping pad or mid-air jump to jump up. Cool. That was a perfect aerial attack. At least I know how to do that one. Make sure to use dodge attacks and aerial attacks in real matches too. Hi, oh, yeah, that's one done. I wonder if these are characters on the screen here, ones that are playable or not. You can see a little bit of loading there in the background. Not big issue. counter attacks that's what I want to know feels like I'm just either dodging or being hit welcome to the tutorial 
tutorial, Calixer. It's time to learn about advanced combat. First, we'll learn how to counter enemy attacks. Then you'll get to battle a bot. Okay. Wonder what button's gonna be. Let's bring in the smart tutorial bot so you can learn how to respond to enemy attacks. Be careful, the smart tutorial bot is about to attack. That's a bit more realistic than some sort of wooden thing. So it is literally just dodge. Oh, great job! Dodge your enemy's attacks and try to land a counter. Okay, what we did in the last one, basically. After an attack sends you flying. Be careful! The smart tutorial bot is about to attack again. I think I've done this before. Dodge, is it? Okay. Yeah, I think I've accidentally stumbled upon that one already. Oh no, you're groggy because your HP is low. If you hold on for a short while, you can overcome your groggy state. How? Oh, amazing! You've overcome being groggy with your strong will. I didn't notice any visually differences or any like symbol on us, so it was easy for us. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> what did I attack the door for? Whoa. Ah, I can't quickly add an extra attack to that. Now that you're done with the basic controls, try out some more calixers in practice mode. Come back anytime you need a recap. It's been great having you. That sounds like the tutorial's over. As in all of them. But I thought there was another one after this. Perhaps it'll be like a practice match. Ah, it's loan times just a little bit too long on Switch, is what it feels like. Yeah, Black 3 was a little worrying. So we've got one more. Team play, okay. Perhaps with like the D-pad we can issue instructions to each other. Or perhaps it's gonna talk about tactics, maybe. <laughs> Whoops. that will help you out in team play. Okay. Now let's meet your teammates who'll help you learn. This is your first teammate, the adorable ruler of the sea, Poseidon. Okay. This is your second teammate, the innocent genius blacksmith, Lops. Fine. Depending on the game mode, you can play in a team of multiple players. Communication with your teammates is important in team play. Let's check out the ways you can communicate. Pings, okay. So what are they gonna do? So how do we oh, ping then? Poseidon just used the move ping. You can check the move ping on the map. 
try heading to the king's location. Oh, great job! Oh, there's a good weapon over there. Let's go get it. We're gonna disappear so our teammates can't get it. That's useful. Oops, Lox doesn't have a weapon. Let's ping the remaining weapons for Lox. Come closer to the weapon and use the item ping. Good job. The item so it's R three for that. So it looks like the ping is context aware. Stone, okay. Chaos Lox is requesting to be revived using quick chat. To revive a teammate, you must obtain that teammate's soul stone. Mm hmm. Okay. So, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so they will revive. Okay. Lox has been revived. You can revive teammates to have them join the fight again. Wonder if the map will clearly show where these are. Even if you die, you see that's not that clear. In spectator mode and wait for your teammate to revive you. I think that's gonna happen to me when we get to an actual game. It hasn't told us how to bring up the chat wheel. Did you notice that? It told us how to ping. It told us there is a chat wheel, but it never told us what button turns on the chat wheel. So the tutorial's not quite. It's like the first mistake the game's had. My guess would be it's one of the D-pad buttons, because there's kind of not many other buttons left. Let's go with the battery last in the controller. So, let's get this final reward. And... Team Battle Royale, Team Brawl. What's the difference? What do you think? If I hit A, what it does tell us? No, it doesn't tell us what they do. Ah. Uh, mine it just takes you here. Rule. I'm guessing Battle Royale is um, like one life and you get revised, whereas Brawl might be um, how many. who gets the total number of KOs first. That's what I think that's going to be. So we'll try that. Now, do we get to pick our character here, or do we have to pick our character before here? Because again, it hasn't really asked us to do that and my computer has just crashed I'm wondering if my laptop's starting to die so I'm gonna have to use my mini disk backup again it's like the third video in this month twice in two days it's a little frustrating especially because it's just a little bit more time ah we get a pick Hades sounds like fun So we are playing against some other people. I'm living in Japan at the moment. So I can see that some of my other opponents have they have Asian names, uh, Korean, Japanese. So it looks like I was meant to choose the other players. So I'm not playing with other human players. I'm playing with this AI on my team against other teams with human and AI. Interesting. I'm 
guessing is us versus the red. So there's two teams working together. Did someone just get my kill? was on my team. Oh. I'm down. So why have we respawned? Let someone pick up our crystal then and wait. Ah. Watching my teammate play here. I never found any health. Well, that wasn't that much fun. The area of attack felt really, really small, and it didn't feel balanced. Why is that my avatar? I have many questions. <laughs> Just wanting to play on a team with human players. I have no idea why I respawned. There's no visual thing on screen indicating that I was being respawned. Let's try this one, the duels. It's probably a little easier to work out what we're going to do. So look at these plus tens. I wonder what, they, what that means. It's not really told us, has it? Sure. My guess is, is perhaps like a license. You get 10 free goes with them. And once that happens, you've either got to buy them or wait until some other event in the future. Okay, I'm up against Diana. At least we know there's a bow and arrow and they're more of a long ranged attacker, so we can try to get close. Where are they? I don't feel particularly fast, am I? They're in the middle. Ah. Nuts. It was a stamina issue. On that one. 
It's like I dodge and didn't have enough stamina to then um, do an attack. Um, sure. I guess in because we lost, we get choice of two, and they get one because they won the match. Did I do it? No! Feels like I want to do more attacks and the game's litting me. Well, that's not that much fun. Almost, I don't think so. Hmm, which leaves the Battle Royale as the next mode to play. In a way, I'd rather use these game controls in like a single player game. I don't know, against other players, it doesn't feel as button smashing. It feels like there's a lot of thought that has to go into this. Well, let's have a look at this with some It's interesting, he hasn't told us to go to the store or style or, or even Calyxa yet Yeah, I know it's low battery, but it was 10 minutes from the last one, so hopefully we've got time. Let's try being King Arthur. I am from England, so why not? At least we're playing with human players by the looks of it. loading screens there's no music it feels like it takes a while Select your starting point. see my teammates sure actually I don't know if it... okay I'll go in the path then I guess we're gonna go towards the middle perhaps I'm alright with this. Change your starting point. 
Bring me a bit towards. There we go. A bit closer to my teammate who might be swarmed. So. Chasing this guy down. Yeah, my attack has a bit of a lead up to it. Alright, took my kill. We're not in there yet. Where is the safe zone? Oh wow, we got a long way to go. Where's a hill statue? Now if they're smart, they might. Yeah, someone's going to be up ahead, aren't they? Blocking the path. Come on, let me get it. Yes! Okay. They're my allies. This is my first lot jumping pad. Might need that later for when the area gets small. I think if anyone arrives. I guess not. We kind of hanging around, making sure no one appears. Is that a revival statue? Yes, that is. Okay. Where is everyone? So this part of the game is actually surprisingly boring. Four teams remain. Designating safe area. Huh. I guess that well didn't I? Someone's been here. See that chest's open as well. Will soon. I'm guessing that's what that sword is on the screen. Smack. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, we did it. And it wasn't exciting. That's the weird thing. Like it felt slow. There's not a great sense of what's happening in the world around you.
Hey, two KOs. Four. Are we going to stay in the lobby or is it going to take us to the home menu? Okay, it takes us back here. Huh, so Team Battle Royale, play with a team. 1v1, your team versus another human's team versus another human's team. What's coming soon? What have we got coming? Weekly duel, weekly tournament. You know what? I think I'm going to end it there, to be honest. It's not quite there for me. Like I said, playing it, it feels slower than it should be. It feels that it's missing a certain spark. And I can never, it doesn't feel like I can do enough attacks. So like the balance between what the opponent has as a character and what I have as a character can sometimes feel very different. Like at the very end there, that final battle, I got the final kill in, I was doing sweeping damage from my sword and they were dodging it and they couldn't dodge out of it. Well that's what it looked like and yeah I don't know about this one. It might take a few more games, a few more times playing it so I may come back to this one. Oh it could just be Calyxes. So I have Diana, Freya, and Lops. Wait, I can't just left and right to get to the next one. I've got to back out to go to the next one. That one's, I guess, magic. Ah, oh, left button will get you this screen. How can I compare? I don't think we can compare. Light attack. Oh, okay, at least we get to see that. It's a long wind up for that. <laughs> the ultimate is pretty quick. Hmm, I know. I feel like we needed like long range, short range, attacker, magic. I think there should be at least four or five of these characters open to us. What's these side things here? Friends, okay. Yeah, I think I'll do for today. So until the next online Saturday video, or until I see checking out some of the other videos, playlists, live streams, or maybe I'll see Robert Kofi as a small YouTube channel. We get no money from YouTube, but with Kofi, we can get PayPal donations, including uh, PayPal, and we've got some subscription tiers as well, so maybe one of them will interest you. But wherever or whenever I see you again, please take care.